Howdy y'all, my name is Price and welcome back to some more Epic Chef! So, uh, if you watched last episode, um, I goofed hard! I goofed real hard and I messed up my fight with Terapio. Uh, and, uh, yeah, that was, uh, like I said, that was a big goof. That was a big goof on my part. So, we're gonna try again. I'm gonna do my- oh, that was it? That was all I got out of that? Um, I'm gonna do my best to, uh, to do it correctly this time, and we'll see if the combos that I'm doing actually end up working out. I was hoping that they were there, but that's right, they're waiting for me. I'm gonna blast through the story bits here, so if you're somebody who's popping in at this episode and you didn't finish the last episode, you're gonna wanna go back and finish that episode if you're curious about all the story-related stuff, because I'm gonna skip through it as fast as possible. Um, I don't have enough agree- oh, gosh darn it. I need to go pick them up. I thought I had them in my inventory already. Okay, we're gonna go back. Let's go grab that stuff. It's all right. So, uh, yeah, last time I just ended up, I was panicking. I was hitting the buttons, buttons wrong. I need to know that I don't have to do it crazy fast. I can take my time. You know, it's, it's the kind of person that I am. I just kind of get a little too excited. Too excited. So I would love to lose the first aroma battle and win the second aroma battle because, uh, yeah. Um, let's also, I fed him last time, so let's just do it again. Uh, 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 uh. Cool. There we go. Uh, so, yeah, we're gonna do the battle. Hopefully, we are more successful this time and we can move forward. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to devise a new strategy somehow. I don't know. But I think this one will work. We got way ahead on the first round, and I think if we carry that forward through the next two rounds, we will be destroying him. So, just going to do this. Do, 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 do. Yep, 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 yep. We heard it last time. Oh, look, we're in a giant pile of poo trying to go inside the tower. Beep, beep, beep. This guy gets rude. We spend 20 minutes arguing with him about manners. To be honest, we get really rude too, so I don't think it's balanced, you know? Even if you're criticizing somebody about their abilities, you don't insult them. You instead just point out clearly what they're doing wrong. Because honestly, if you're calm and collected in the face of somebody who's uh, incredibly angry and whatnot like that, it definitely makes you look more like you are, um, you know, maybe right. That's not to say that being emotional makes you wrong. It's just that when you're dealing with somebody who has already insulted you and treated you poorly, if you calmly uh, speak to them about their uh, actions, it's hard for them to get mad at you about it or to argue with it. Okay. Yeah, Mitriel, rude. Um, as always, are we friends? Uh, I don't know, are we friends? Uh, no. <laughs> I'm just like summarizing it. Uh, oh, look at him. King of the baddies. King of the Critics Union. Mitriel's like, oh my gosh, he talked to you and you're like, you don't care about it. It's because I don't know any of these people. All right, this world is new to me. All right, now we do the let's get ready to rumble stuff. Got to be careful about that. That phrase is uh, copyrighted. <laughs> There's a whole thing about how no one else can say it except for that one dude. Okay. Here we go with the introductions. I love the little camera floating around. And that stained glass dude fighting a dragon, you know? I don't know what that has to do with cooking, but hey. That dude's got a sword. That's actual fighting up in here. We're not involved in that. Okay. Angra, er. All right. Okay. Here we go. Okay. Okay. So I think the rice bonus only works the first time. That's why it says equals one. Uh, okay. Oh, maybe it only works for the first round. So maybe I do need to. Um, okay. Add ingredient. Uh, goes potato, add ingredient, come on, milk, uh, add ingredient, uh, this stuff, okay, and then we stir, we stir a little bit, yeah, okay, gotta get all that stuff, come on, come on, oh gosh, didn't do as well that time, maybe because I went too fast, um, but, and I wasn't, I wasn't flipping them, I need to flip them too, to keep them from burning, that's what it was, I always forget, I always forget. All right. 46 to 0 on that one. So I did end up winning the aroma battle. It's fine. It's fine. Um, I feel like it's going to be hard because he gets a 0 on it. Okay, yeah, I got the bonus. 
and that's gone now. So, I mean, maybe winning the first round of battle is actually good. Um, yeah, only three on that, 11 on that, but here we go on the big stuff. Not bad. Not bad. Not as good as last time, but not bad. I'd love it if I could just skip this guy's stuff. Come on. Speed through it. Speed through it. Okay. So, hopefully he does, like, the same score as last time. Okay, yeah. I don't like giving him that bonus, but it's fine. It's fine. Don't like that. Well, actually, that'll help me on the next one as well. Cool. Now, it's not round by round, right? It's not like, oh, I won one round, I won a second round. I think it's total score by the end. Okay. Here we go. Same deal. Uh, rice. Flip it a little bit. Okay. Uh, go potato. Flip it a little bit. Uh, milk. Flip it a little bit. And cheese sauce. Flip it a little bit. Okay. And then stir like bonkers. There we go. Serve the dish. About the same as last time. Um, you know, I'm just, I'm, I'm not doing perfect. But you know what? I'm going to get the benefit of the, the double red as well. So we're helping each other out on that one. Um, I will be increasing the amount of uh, yellow. Let's see. So it's going to last like the whole time. Okay. <laughs> Didn't really get much out of that. Didn't get much out of the blue either, but there we go. That's what I needed last time. So, we'll do that again. He's going to get the 120 or whatever, so he's going to be close. Right? The second one works out really well for him. But I'm still ahead. And as long as he doesn't get, like, a crazy good last round, then we're good. It's the times two for him that's really doing it there. But he didn't add more sauce this time, did he? As long as he didn't add more sauce, he's not going to get the double next time. He did not add more sauce. Awesome. Awesome. So he's not going to get the double, so he'll be back down to like 50 or whatever. So I just have to not goof this one up. <laughs> like last time. Okay. Take your time. Price. We go. Rice. Flip it a little bit. Add costato. Flip it the tiniest amount. Milk. And sauce. Flip it. And stir. Come on. Yeah, get it all up in there. Get it all up in there. Nice. Okay. That was even better than last time. He might add sauce on the end of this one. It's possible. But I think I'd still be ahead. We'll see. It could be close. It could be close. But hopefully he only did one sauce. Okay. Otherwise, I'd like to find something that has a little bit of red and a little bit of yellow because of, I would benefit from the sauce a couple of times. Um, for the next one is what I'm saying. Okay, if I have to do it again, that's what I'm trying to say. 319, come on. That's got to be it. That's got to be it. Come on, come on. Whoa! Don't do sauce. Don't do sauce. Okay, 82. I'm okay there. Come on. Ooh, it's close. Ooh, it's close. I'm good. I'm good! Y'all. Great way to start the episode, huh? <laughs> After last time, I can't believe it. Oh, goodness. V-I-C-T-O-R-Y. Victory, victory. That's my guy. You. Huh? You made it. Terapio, have you lost your mind? Just say the word, boss. Really? This is how you want this to go. You're the one who set the rules for this stupid bet, not me. I thought you valued your honor. You don't deserve the restaurant. And you do? If you really cared about the place, we wouldn't be here to begin with. You should be fighting your mistakes, not your customers. You're... You're right. Hmm. Stand down. What? You're gonna give up just like that, boss? I'm not giving up. I've been defeated. But I had been defeated long ago before I stepped into this arena. My fate was sealed the very same day of my triumph as a chef. I reached the top and became complacent with my popularity. Took it for granted. I forgot that. In this world, what's popular today is tacky tomorrow. You keep the pace till you fall on your face. Or say, screw it, and stand your ground like a champ against the stampede. At first, it felt right. Me against the world. Some took notice, awaiting for a next move. That never came. 
If you want anyone to follow you, you better be going somewhere. Anywhere. But I just stood there. I sat on my ass, sinking into irrelevancy, too stubborn to accept even the help of an old friend trying to bring me back into the game. Deep down, I knew. What once was pride and might slowly become disdain and anger, and my heart became as bitter as my soul. But this has gone on long enough. Zest, the Bicornio is yours. Take good care of it. All right, we got a restaurant? This man is welcome at the district, and anyone who dares to bother him will answer to me. Understood? Yes, sir. Hmm, well, thank you, Terapia, but I've got something to say as well. What is it? I didn't win fair and square. I got help from outside. My victory is not my own. Help? What kind of help? Did you bribe someone? No, no. Just advice from a professional chef. Mitriel, a member of the Culinarium. I owe my victory to her. Mitriel, really? This is surprising. But seeking advice is not against the rules at all. Your victory is perfectly legit, Zest. Really? I thought I was disqualified. Is that what she told you? Um... Ah, I see. She's been sniffing around my restaurant for months now. Well, looks like she'll be getting more than she bargained for. Huh? You break the news, Bolton. Mitriel, did you help Zest win this contest? I... I... well... I see. Well, according to Culinarium Law, you were acting as sous chef to Zest when he dueled for the restaurant, endorsing him as a legitimate candidate for restaurant ownership. I'm sorry, but this means you've earned that position by his side. You'll have to serve at Zest's restaurant and help him run the place. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Congratulations, Zest. It seems you've won more than a restaurant. You also have an employee. And my people and I will make sure she follows the rules to the letter. No! <laughs> oh, man. That's so great. Look at her. <laughs> You're gonna stay like that much longer? Shut up. You ruined my life. Hey, you should have told me how the rules really worked if you wanted me to keep my mouth shut. It's not my fault you got boiled in your own stew. You were the one who pushed me into the pot with your stupid noble act. You had already won, and you had to go all honest. But you're right. It's not your fault that you're a golden-hearted fool. You know, things are not that bad. I thought running a restaurant was what most chefs wanted in Concordia. I want to have my restaurant, not to work in this ruin taking orders from an idiot. And I could always fire you if you want. That would destroy my career prospects. Then we're stuck together. No point on crying over spilled plots. Plots? Pots, as in pots of milk or stew or something. It got mixed up with the previous metaphor. You said plots. Why would I say plots? I guess you wouldn't. Then we're ready to work together. I don't have a clue on how to run a restaurant. I suppose there's little choice in the matter. Good to see some enthusiasm. It's better to look towards the future. After all, it won't do much to lament about subsection 349-B. Sub... Subsection 349-B? He wouldn't. What... What are you talking about? Oh, I got this rule book a while ago. Didn't give it much thought at first, but after seeing how you got screwed like that by a single rule, well, I've started reading it. You started reading it now, right? Not... not before? Of course! I wouldn't have felt the need to confess anything if I had known. I had nothing to lose, after all. And I wouldn't want to cause trouble for someone who was only trying to help me, right? Is... is he really serious? Or is he teasing me? What's the deal with this guy? <laughs> oh, I love it. Looks like I got myself a restaurant, but I'm exhausted. Tomorrow I'll take a good look at it. Awesome, y'all. The Bicornio hat. Boltuna. Surimi. Oh, we are going to be able to uh, do a lot of stuff coming up. Algae pesto sauce. Spectral chutney. Look at all this stuff we're able to make now. <gasps> Marcanaise. Look, look at all this. Holy crap. But, y'all, we just reached tier two. We're just going to say we just reached tier two. Maybe tier three, depending on how you uh, you look at it. Uh, go to the restaurant and talk to Mitriel. We definitely will. But first, we're going to get ourselves a couple more pips. Look at how many multipliers we have right now. Couple, we've got a couple markipliers up in here. Yeah, I said it. I said it. Hello, everybody. Welcome to YouTube. I'm Markiplier. And I love chefs. I love I love Mark, by the way. I'm just I'm saying this because I really respect that dude. <laughs> He's like 
a king of the video game space. And I feel like I wouldn't be able to do what I do without people like Markiplier, without people like Jacksepticeye. They really built the space for um, gaming on YouTube, I think, because of how big they got and how entertaining they were. Um, and I'll be honest, I... I've learned a lot from watching their stuff about how to be an entertaining YouTuber. Oh, we reached max on yellow. Okay. Okay. I'm going to grab, if I have enough, I might need, I need some more mandragoras. Um, so that I can, do, do, do. Oh, what's going on over here? Why is it glowing? Oh, it's just, it just is. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, let's grab these, boop, 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 and boop, because I want to make one of these dishes for myself to get the most out of the yellow there. Do I have any more cheese sauce? I don't. So I need more cheeso sauce. Uh, let's see what that's going to take me, because we get so much off of that. Oh, this isn't the saucer. This is the saucer. Uh, cheeso, what do you need, oh? Rich bechamel and special dough. Rich bechamel takes some rice. And the special dough. Rice and carrots. Okay, a lot of rice. Some milk and some carrots. And yeah, like I said, I'm just going to do this in the evening because we have infinite time, basically. Um, let's go grab some more rice from over here as well. Hi, how you doing, buddy? So cute. Oh, I gotta be careful saying stuff like that. That's that's how I talk to my cat. He probably heard that and he's gotta come in here. He's gonna be like, what's up? You wanna hang out? And that's always tricky while I'm doing this. Uh, okay. And we only have two milk. Do we have another milk over here? Because I would like to hold on to at least one for the, uh... Oh, we do. Okay, cool. Beep boop. Alright. Um, as long as it lets me, we're gonna make all this stuff. I just need one. So let's make that. But I'll put the rest of this stuff, you know. Oh, what do I need for this? Oh, carrots! Gotta get a couple of carrots. Uh, sorry for this taking so long. But then again, we had an awesome battle. <laughs> I redeemed myself from last time, I think. Um, <laughs> that was so funny. I'm sorry. I was laughing so hard when I did that because I fully went ultimate panic horse. I really did. Uh, I, you know, I learned from the best. Ash taught me how to panic. Um, okay. So, I've got rice, milk, and ghostato, and sauce, right? Oh, I need to make the sauce. Hold on. And then we're going to get a huge boost, I think, from making this and having the times five with all the yellow that we're going to get from this dish. I think it's going to be real big. Now, my other ones will be very low, but that's okay, in my opinion. Let's cook. Can I? Oh, totally. Okay. So, we do this. We flip it. We do... Goes potato, we flip it, we do milk, we flip it real quick, and we drop in the cheeso, and we flip it. No! Oh, I did it again! I hit X! I hit X! That's okay. We'll make another one in the morning. I'll feed this one to my dude. Um, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. We'll make one in the morning, then we'll go check out the restaurant, and that'll probably have to be the end of the episode. I mean, I guess we see, because you gotta end at the end of the day. Um, so we will sleep. <laughs> I keep goofing it, y'all. I gotta stop talking while I'm doing things. Here's the deal. You know, I was talking about it last time. I'm on ADHD meds, which is helping a lot. Um, not actually on any of the things that you would think. Usually people think about stimulants and stuff. I'm not actually on any stimulants. Um, I'm on um, a couple of, like, mood stabilizers and things. Um, but it's really helping. It's really helping a lot. Um, and so uh, the thing is, is because I'm not... I think on the traditional ADHD meds, it's like my energy's higher, but <laughs> but I'm still kind of uh, lacking in the um, the focus department. Like I have I have a uh, an unbridled focus, a focus that uh, is uncontained. Um, so uh, there we go. So what have I got? I got cheeso. I got milk. Uh, I got mandragoras and potatoes, so I can go make a gustado. We're gonna call it that a gustado. Um, and then I just need the rice. So rice, gustado, milk, cheese sauce. We'll do it now. I don't need to panic. I don't need to do it so fast. Okay, Bryce, calm down. 
You got plenty of time. And also, B is stir. Don't even... I'm having my fingers. I'm putting them as far over to the right as I can. <laughs> Don't press X. All right. Cook. So, we grab you. A. We hit Y. Grab you. A. We hit Y. Grab you. Just, I'm taking a second. A. Then Y. Cheezo sauce. And then we stir with B. With B price. Okay, keep going, keep going. That's it. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I did it again. <laughs> oh, gosh, it's so great. All right, let's eat it. Uh, how do I eat it? I forget how to eat it. Yeah, let's do that. I thought it was X. Maybe I just need to get away from here. Oh, no, maybe I take it to the table. Take it to the table, bud. Do, 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 do. All right, let's see this massive level up from the yellow. Fragrant rice pie and spectral fries in pure way. Oh, dude, get ready. Yeah! New synergy. We got evil mandragora. What was that? Is that just like, did we just get synergies? Look at that, though. Two levels. Totally worth it. Um... How do I check? I guess let's just go look at them. I wanted to see if I could actually just look at um, the synergies. Uh, oh, no mandragoras have grown in yet today, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's um, head on over to the restaurant and see what's up. Uh, this will be neat. Oh, I'm excited, y'all. I'm excited. This is like a whole new journey in this game. And, uh, <laughs> and Mitriel works for us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's just, it's too great. It's too great. Oh, I accidentally pressed A to open the door. It auto-opens. It auto-opens, Price. Okay. I bet if I make a bunch of ghost tatoes, I can sell them for a lot. We'll see. We'll see. Right now, we're going to the restaurant. And I think... No, there's not one here. So we're just going to be in our little outfit here. Our little swim trunks, you know? Okay, we got a WC. I can change my outfit. Okay, let's put on the bicornio hat. I mean, this is where we are. Adventurer armor? Nah, nah. I like that one a lot. Kick me sign not included on the merchant outfit. I love that one. Honestly, I like just looking like that. But, you know, we'll do this. We'll do this. Okay. Now, staff room. Revelation magazine. So that's a little upgrade thing. There is a stairway. Oh, I can't go up it. Okay. What's up, Mitriel? I see you finally decided to bless your business with your presence. Wow, this place is bigger than I expected. The building is partly excavated within the rock. The restaurant has potential, but it needs a serious investment. I provided you with some basics, but that's pretty much it. I'm not going to get into debt to finance your business. Hey, I appreciate it. Uh, what do we need to get it up and running? Well, to begin with, we should find a better name for this place. The Bicornio carries a lot of bad baggage. We need to go for a fresh start. Do you have any suggestions? A restaurant name should be powerful. A declaration of intent. Like the Transcendence, the best restaurant in the city, run by the Festumancer siblings. They cook using magic that takes food beyond. They make every meal at their place an unforgettable experience. Or the Immaculate, run by the Nyarian custodian Anzashi. She takes pride in the untainted perfection of her millennial old traditions. I see. A name that defines what we do in here. Exactly. Descriptive, brief, and powerful. I think I got it. How about we name it Zesterant? Yes. <laughs> oh, man. Hmm. How about we stick wood splinters under our fingernails? Yikes. Hey, it's descriptive. Because, well, you know, it's a restaurant. And I'm Zest. By that logic, we could also call this place the Idiot's Den. Hey, you don't need to be that hard on yourself. <laughs> Let's forget about the name for now. We need to put the basics in place. Here, have a few plans. You need to build at least two customer tables and add one dish to the menu near the entrance by interacting and dragging a cooked dish from your inventory. Okay, let's look at what that stuff's going to cost us. We'll probably have to do most of that next time, I'm guessing. Um, where do we craft? Or is that something that we just do in our normal craft menu? Wrong button. Wrong button. We're, we're going to figure it out. X, there we go. Uh, 
No. Don't see it in here. Ah, here we go. Restaurant. There we go. Okay. Wood planks and wood planks. Tons of wood planks. That's all we need. Um, and then we need to make a dish that we can serve here. We all know what my favorite dish is right now. Um, the ghost tato surprise. Uh, although, that might be... Oh, sorry, bud. That might be something that's a little... Um, you know, it's too yellow. Not hungry right now. I need to do some activities before I can digest a new dish. Oh, that's for eating. Okay, sorry. I just All I saw was... That it was a thing. Let's read this magazine. Let's see what it gives us. Revelation magazine. Oh, that's how we can get we get reviewed. Okay. Well, um, let's head back home. This is great because what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start chopping some trees so that we can um, uh, make some chests and then I'll you know go to bed and all that kind of stuff. But um, you know, in the spirit of keeping this uh, on the shorter side, I'll go ahead and I'll just say um, goodbye here. That was a fun episode, and I'll just chop down these trees on my lonesome, because uh, cause that's okay. So, y'all, uh, with that, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this episode. It's been a, it's been a good one. This has been a very eventful one. Um, and, uh, you know, if you liked it, please leave a like. Subscribe to the channel if you're not already. It helps a ton. Um, and also, if you could, go check out another one of my videos right after this one. Maybe go check out an episode of Played Up if you're into these uh, cooking style games. Um, maybe go check out Diner Bros that I did with Emma. Um, because if you do that, if you watch multiples of my videos in a row, it tells YouTube you want to see my videos in your feed. So please do that if you can. Uh, if you want to, I would love it. It would be great for me. But most importantly, y'all, have a wonderful rest of your day. I have been Price, and I will see y'all next time. Oh, what's this over here? Hmm. That'll be for next time.